Hello there, world. It's your girl, Margaret. I hope you all are having a fantastic day or night. I want to come to you briefly about something that is very important that I know we have um, made an awareness of and we need to continue to make an awareness of. Um, my son came to me today, my 10-year-old son, and he asked for the cinnamon. And when I asked him why he wanted the cinnamon, he told me that him and his friends had heard about the cinnamon challenge and they wanted to try it out. Well, that was my opportunity to pull all my sons together and begin to talk to them about the importance of these challenges and how these challenges are, you know, one, dangerous, and also, number two, very deadly. And, um, you know, and I told them, I said, please, you know, stay away from these challenges. And I went, went on to show them some of the challenges that are out here in conjunction with the cinnamon challenge. But, you know, this crazy as, you know, fire challenge and um, put the condom through your nose challenge and, you know, and the choking challenge and stuff. I was like, this stuff is, it, it, you know, causing people to lose their lives. And, you know, and I stress to them the importance of first, how much mommy and daddy loves them. And second, how much they are to value life. And so, you know, and so then my son said, well, mom, what kind of challenges will you put out there? And so, you know, I began to laugh and I thought about it. I said, you know what? I said, that's good. I, matter of fact, I'm going to make a video on it. So parents, start talking to your children about doing challenges on how many books they can read for the whole year. And maybe, you know, if they reach their goal, then they get like, you know, 20 or $50 or $100 and stuff, you know, to make that, to make the incentive very, um, you know, worthwhile. Or, you know, do a challenge where it's a break dancing contest. Or, if, you know, those that don't know how to break dance, do a dancing challenge or, you know, get the kids in the neighborhood and do um, an A challenge and, you know, and, and challenge the kids to make um, all A's on their report card. And if they do, then maybe like you're throw a, a big block party or something. Give these kids some incentives that are worthwhile, that are meaning as far as challenges that they will be like, yeah. If I do this challenge, I get this out of it? Wow. Compared to, okay, well, I'm going to do this stupid ass challenge. I'm going to pour some alcohol on me, send myself on fire, and then send myself to the hospital kind of challenge. I mean, come on, really? Seriously? So, let's start. Let's, you know, A, let's stay, with, stay in our kids' lives. Talking to them, letting them know the importance and dangers of these challenges. And B, let's start coming up as a society, um, a, as a community with, with challenges that are, that are more productive, that will help these kids out. I know that the ALS uh, Foundation Challenge, the ICE Challenge, that's going on. Let's get the kids involved in that. We got so many... Uh, diseases out. My my son, he has uh, Dandy Walker with hydrocephalus. And I know that that foundation does something every year. Let's start coming up with creative challenges for our kids. And, um, and, and let's start putting these challenges out in the community. You know, maybe um, a, a, a bite a bite challenge you know who can do a, a, a willy or something um yeah, if the, with boys boys love to skate a skateboard so maybe like a skateboard challenge things that's going to enrich the body things that's going to enrich the mind instead of the stupidness mess that's out here so as a mother and um as a uh, a parent, as a um, a friend, and you know someone that's in the community, and I do have a lot of children that come to my house that do look up to me, and all. Um, I am challenging other parents, and if you're not a parent, you're part of the community. So I'm challenging everyone. So let's come up with creative things that we can start doing or putting out here to our young kids to keep their minds first of all saved, their lives saved, their bodies enriched, and give them incentives to look forward to 
to work towards instead of this stupid stuff. Like my mother used to always tell me, an idol mind is a devil's workshop. And really, you have to have had an idol mind to come up with some of these challenges that have been put out here lately um, on Facebook, YouTube, social media and stuff. So now let's turn that around and let's come out with some positive challenges. This is your girl Margaret, a.k.a. Mother, a.k.a. a society person. And I am signing out and I hope that you will accept the challenge. Peace.